so uh, good afternoon again. So for uh, the province of Marindu of uh, Marinduque, the town of Mugpag was set up in 1807 under the governor Silio. So there are 34 barangays, four of which is established as the poblacion. So they serve the town can of the built heritage of the town, like the Go and Vidal House, can be found around 100 years old, and its customs and traditions, like the Moriones Festival, which was first initiated by the priest in 1807, and like in the adjacent town, walk the capital of the province, their cultural heritage from the colonial times are still intact. But unfortunately, in, in July to 2018, uh, the, the block was block fire happened, and eight heritage houses was destroyed and lost forever. And the problem is that those houses were never built again, including the historical Capitan Piroco house, because it was privately owned. And now the, all those properties remain vacant. So the local government recorded 110 heritage houses according to Arnaldo 2014, and some of them are already in deteriorated state. So the research aims to find the significance of the heritage house by determining its background, physical and historical description, stories associated, current condition, and significant tangible heritage using the cultural mapping. So what is cultural mapping? So cultural mapping identified by uh, UNESCO is essential in protecting the world heritage, intangible and cultural. According to the NCCA, it is a method of recognizing, recording, classifying social properties or assets of the community and perceive them. So the, uh, the research method uh, use a quality, qualitative approach to get the necessary data from the concerned government agencies and department and experts. So the data, data gathering is an interview and document gathering, se a semi-structured interview, photo docu documentation, and uh, literature review. So the research was located in the population area of Magpag Marindoque uh, on the barangay of Gitang Bayan and Bella Mendes. And uh, the research uh, studied three heritage houses. So the first for so for the result, the first house is the Liavi House. So the Liavi House was uh, built during the American period in the Gitnang Bayan. It was uh, it is eight years old and owned by Dalmasho Liavi. It's the, it is in in its uh, deteriorated state. It has been altered, but is still an original site, and it lacks conservation and threatened by the uh, national road widening project. So for the significance of the house. So the house has historical significance. Judge Telmasio Lave uh, served as a judicial of the province and held uh, several positions in the judiciary. And the house is already eight years old and was used uh, before as a public notary and different uh, commercial establishments. So for the aesthetic, the house has, uh, its style is platter and dibandeo style, it also, and flower and trellis style. It's uh, based from the plant-themed metal grills and Ventanilla de Abanico. It still has most of its original wooden, uh, wooden architectural elements, and it also has social economic value because the, the house uh, uh, is in close proximity to the town center and a base of operation of, a local, of local businesses, such as a wig making shop, a restaurant, and a salon. So for the next house, the Villaster Heritage House, so the Villaster Heritage House was built also in the American period. It is located in the Villa Mendes, but the problem is the house was destroyed by the typhoon in 2016 and currently in its ruined state. But it's still in its original uh, location and is threatened by also the, road, the national road widening project. So the house has histor historical social political value because first it is a 100 year old property it was uh, the former owner was Pedro Villaster, who served as the municipal president. Tupas Villaster served as the auxiliary justice of peace of the town and also a town mayor for three terms. It, before it has aesthetic value, its style is horizontal and vertical style, and it also still has its original uh, wooden uh, wood hardwood construction. For the next house, the Garcia Calderon Heritage House. The Garcia Calderon Heritage House was also built in the American period. It lies in the Gitnang Bayan. It is a one. It is a 80-year-old structure and owned previously by Andrea Malilay Garcia. So the house is 
in excellent condition because it was renovated in 2016. But the problem is because of the renovation, it might lose uh, the requirement of 70% authenticity to be uh, characterized as a heritage house. So the house, for the historical significance, the house is already eight years old. And Andrea Malilay was, in 1945, was an appointed acting councillor of Magpog of Marindoque. The house was also used as the first school house, uh, first school of youth after the war. And it has aesthetic value because it, it still has its original massive three posts, exposed roof beams, balusters, hardwood elements, capis windows, and its style is horizontal and vertical style. So it has also economic, socioeconomic value uh, because it lies uh, near the Magpog Central School and near the Par uh, the St. Isidore Paris Church and, used, and the ground floor is still utilized for commercial use. So the town of Mugpog has many heritage houses, but none of them has undergone proper cultural mapping, and some of them are already in a state of disrepair. Each of the houses has its own stories, but it must be researched first and without proper protection. It is only a matter of time before their history stories end up in the rubble, buried and forgotten. The study shows that these houses have our part of the local and even uh, national history, although the, co the COVID-19 pandemic made it hard for the researcher to conduct the cultural mapping. The study still got the, uh, the proper information and concluded and made a statement of significance. So for the recommendation, so it is recommended that the houses be, re be registered uh, in the Philippine Registry of Cultural Mapping to protect them and to identify them as a heritage house. It is also uh, recommended to continue the cultural mapping of the other heritage houses, prepare a conservation management plan, create a cultural education program for the locality and also the owners for the importance of the houses, request for expert assistance uh, from the government for the conservation of the houses and propose policies to restore and eliminate the current practice of lax development in the in the town. So for the future researchers, it is uh, recommended for them to produce a detailed plan or blueprint and inventory of the houses for future conservation projects, start a mapping of identified and possible and recorded tangible mo movable heritage, and refine the cultural mapping profiles. Uh, so for uh, for a quote from Jose Rizal, to foretell a destiny of a nation, it is necessary to open a book that for, that tells of her past. So we need to know our our past before we can move on into the future. Uh, so these are the reference, and thank you.